Yeah, with the eclipse's path of totality cutting through southern Illinois, about 200,000 people are expected to visit. It's a lot of people. Governor mm -hmm. J.B. Pritzker will join many others in celebrating that rare sight today in Carbondale. And yesterday, Carbondale welcomed visitors with a block party. There was food, bands, drinks. As people were able to pick up their eclipse glasses as well and play around with science and get souvenirs at Southern Illinois University's campus. Some of the visitors, including two men who came to see their brother while catching the eclipse, they witnessed the 2017 eclipse, which also crossed in Carbondale. Everybody talks about it being a miracle. It, it is kind of a miracle, and it's a very amazing thing to see. And uh, uh, that first time, I know I'll never forget that, and I'm looking forward to a second time. Yeah, to get in, this is the major theme in Carbondale, as friends and family got to see and will see the inspiring sight. Uh, that family in particular, they saw it once, going to see it again. In Carbondale, uh, just before 2 this afternoon, here in Chicago, even though the eclipse is partial, it's still majority and it'll be also around two o'clock. Mm -hmm. If you are still here in Chicago, there are plenty of places to see that eclipse. You can go out in your front yard mm -hmm. or join mm -hmm. thousands of people at the Adler Planetarium. We are joined not live now by astronomer Lucienne Wachowicz, who once worked at Adler. And uh, Lucienne, you are taking in today's eclipse in Indianapolis. You must be excited, I would imagine. Oh, I'm thrilled. I was in Carbondale in 2017 and it was just magical. Uh, can you describe, you know, what yeah. that experience was like as it and may compare to today's experience? I mean, you know, is it even com comparable? Yeah, you know, this eclipse in particular is, uh, I think, set to be even more spectacular. Um, this time, the path of the eclipse, so the number of people that are going to be able to see the totality is greater. So the path is wider because the moon is just a little bit closer to us. And that means that compared to around like 12 million people who got to see it in 2017, there are almost 32 million people wow. in the path this time. Wow. And yeah, in addition to that, the totality will actually last uh, almost a full two minutes longer in some places. So this is really um, set to be a spectacular experience, I think. Yeah, and I, you know, hearing just wild stories, you know, people comparing it to, you know, like we said, a rebirth and people saying the animals will go quiet for four minutes, you know, wondering what's happening to their world around them. You know, there won't be another total eclipse for about 20 years. So it's, you know, four minutes, and I'm thinking you get a minute at the beginning, minute, you get a window there, right? Like, how do you make the most of that? Like, you know, you're going to be looking at the sun, I'm going to be looking at people, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you game plan? What's your game plan for that five minutes? <laughs> Yeah, I think um, some of the things that I'm really excited to, to see is, um, for one thing, our sun is in a more active period right okay. now than it was in 2017. So the corona, the like streaming outer layer of the sun that we don't usually get to see with our eyes, will be more prominent and dynamic than it was back then. So I think that's the main thing to look for um, during totality itself. But, you know, a total solar eclipse is really a full sensory experience. So I encourage you to not only look, but to listen, to feel the drop in temperature, mm. um, to hear, you know, like the birds chirping because they think it's dawn, to hear your fellow human beings going ooh and ah around you and maybe yourself going ooh and ah. <laughs> is there, I'm just curious, is there a change in the energy in the atmosphere at all or no? You know, it's, it, it, can you- It's interesting, I never thought of that. It's gonna get cooler, it? right? Yeah. Right, other than the temperature change, is there anything else you, let's say, experienced in 2017? Yeah, it's not necessarily something that humans would experience here on the ground. Um, but one of the neat things about eclipses is that they offer a chance to do science in studying the outer atmosphere of the Earth. So during this eclipse, NASA will actually have a number of jets sort of um, doing the ultimate eclipse chasing and following the path and making measurements not only of the sun, but of the outer layer of our atmosphere here on this planet, which is affected by that part of the sun that you'll be able to see during totality. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Well, astronomer Lucy and Wachowicz, yeah. thank Wachowicz, rather, sorry. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Enjoy yourself yeah. in Indianapolis. One more quick question. How old is your son? <laughs> no, how old is your child? Four, uh, four and a half billion years. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, She's talking about son, S-U-N. Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, Lucianne, you know what? It's, it's I was already I was wondering. Brand. I was wondering what parents <laughs> should say to their kids, but now... I've ruined the show. <laughs> no, you have not ruined the show. And we she really. She was saying the sun and the sun, S U N. We, we really, really, really Darn appreciate it. your time. Sorry, and I know it's it, beyond being a really amazing experience, like you talked about. It's also it has so many scientific benefits mm -hmm. and um, you know and learning moments. So yeah. it's, it'll be really exciting. We really thank you again yeah. for your time. Thanks so much. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Enjoy your eclipse. <laughs> thank you. You yeah. as well. And the Adler Planetarium will be celebrating this rare site with a free event starting at 12:30 activities will be <laughs> stationed around outside guests will be encouraged to walk around and observe the sky during the eclipse of course you'll need protective eyewear the adler will be giving out free solar viewers while supplies last. Tickets are only required if you plan to go inside the museum. The eclipse will begin around 12:50 and it will peak around 2 this afternoon as we have been telling you. Thank you for retracking the train. <laughs> uh, it happens. It happens. Yeah. You know, they sound exactly I mean, it the is same. Her, it is her son. It's my son too. Because yeah. I was going to ask how you, what you should, do, you know, what you do with children. Yeah. Um, well, I think as a parent, I would say just don't let them look directly at the sun so they don't burn their retinas. <laughs> That's what yeah. I would. You do would say with that to your son. To my, to my son. S O N. S O N. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.